Go. I am Robin Lewis. I am the director of Into the Woods. So, <laughs> Hairspray was a fantastic musical that we did a few weeks ago. Oh no, sorry, hang on. We are currently doing Hairspray. Is that right, Sorrel? Yeah. Yeah, we are currently doing Hairspray in the Y side, but we've taken a break from our busy schedule to do this interview. In our Christmas jumpers. In our Christmas jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's not really December the 20th, and we don't break up tomorrow. Actually, we, it's our first performance in about three days' time. So we're yeah, back. Yeah, really being nervous actually because the, yeah. the, the, you know, they're, oh, they're terrible. They're terrible. Yeah, I hope it doesn't snow after hairspray for three, <laughs> oh, for three days. Yeah. Because that would be really, really it would terrible. Stop our plans of getting yeah. the lorry from the grove up to the Y yeah. side. And, um, and then we wouldn't be able to do the get yeah. out or something. And imagine if we had three days off oh. after hairspray. That would be awful. Just, and just, terrible. To, just to like sleep and catch up and things. Yeah. That would be terrible. Yeah, there would um, be such disruption. Mm -hmm. So I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, because it, but, yeah, uh, because we're still doing it as we're at the moment. Yeah. Where were we? <laughs> right, I am Robin Lewis. I am the director of Hairspray. <laughs> I am Robin Lewis. <laughs> Why is it so hard? The director of, or one of the directors of Hairspray. My name's Robin Lewis. Um, I'm uh, the drama teacher at Belfast High School, and we've just finished directing Hairspray in the Y School. <laughs> I am Robin Lewis. I am one of the directors of Hairspray. And I am Stephen Mason, the other director of Hairspray. Uh, we chose to do Hairspray because um, we are restricted by what we can do by the performance rights companies. Uh, without our own theatre, we are limited in uh, the choices that we can make. But, we also felt that we could cast it really well with a lot of fantastic girls. And it does have a lot of fantastic girls. In and the message um, that it gives as well, we thought obviously was very important, especially in 2017. It was a message that needs to be said yeah. yet again, is it about equality and uh, fairness in society. I like the choice of production for cars. I love a film. And I thought it was quite good to see it at school. I absolutely love the film Hairspray, so I was over the moon when I found out that we were doing this for our school production. I enjoyed it last year in Into the Woods, it was, and it was a great experience. So when Sir said that I have to audition this year, <laughs> I said I, glad, I will gladly audition. I didn't know really, I just thought I'll give it a go because it's my last year of school. So I thought I'd give it a go, see what happens, and then got the role. <laughs> I do like the production we chose to do because it's really fun. And colourful and we haven't done anything like it before. It was actually, um, the play was very hard to cast. Partly because there was so much competition, um, more so than any other year. Which is good. Yeah, I think, you know, rolling on from Into the Woods, a lot of people wanted to be involved in it, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, but trying to fit everyone in was very tricky. We had some people who perhaps didn't have the greatest audition, yet absolutely wowed in performance. Well, they will perhaps wow in performance because the Hairspray musical hasn't yet been as we are still in November. That's right, they are, they are really promising at the moment. Yes. In rehearsal. Yeah. I think they're going to be fantastic. I think so too. For the forthcoming production of Hairspray. Indeed. That we haven't already done. Have we? Sorry, you were in it. <laughs> I like the, uh, the 60s jazziness of it all. I'm enjoying that because it's actually a lively play rather than depressing. So, that's good. My favourite part is seeing all the different people and all the different teachers in a different way. Like, I never would have spoken to Abby in the corridors if we haven't done this, but no. <laughs> and the fun bit, again, is having the confidence to do that with pupils who you know will go with you, but then when it's like, right, the fun's over, do it properly, nine times out of ten, they come back and professionally then take the advice on board, which is amazing, I think, how professional they are. But the whole process, we, we laughed so much. It was just, it was just a constant joy. I, even the times when, you know, I, I was really ill, the tech was really hard, um, but there was, there was still humour, there's always life, there's always someone to make you laugh, there's always someone to cheer you up. Um, and that's really quite special. And I don't think you get that work with adults. I liked it because it was really lively and it, there was lots of energy in it. 
I just like the, the, like the film of it. Uh, my favourite part would probably be like just like getting to know all the members. Like it's like something you get to talk to people outside your social group. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you find like sort of new friends, and that's quite fun. And okay. you spend so much time with them as well. You get to know them. Mm -hmm. well, my favourite part is watching Mr. Lewis muck around with everybody else, <laughs> trying to get them to do stuff. I just sit there going. Enjoying the laugh in my head off. That's my, that's my favourite bit. Actually, my favourite bit is mucking around with the pupils as well. Uh, yeah, I love my part. Uh, singing my song at the beginning, that's my favourite bit, completely. Love dancing, it's great. I love the dance that goes with that song. It's very, very fun to do and energetic and very 16. Yeah, well again, there's people like poor old Ruben, who takes so much stick. <laughs> But he takes it and gives it back as well. He's starting to give it back to me as well, which is great. And, uh, and seeing him come on now, um, you know, performance by performance, into a real comedy genius. <laughs> Who makes me laugh here a lot? It is lovely watching you walk around <laughs> and looking at the difference between Mozart and now, uh, the star, and the, the final performance. And, um, and, and Stefan, I've already mentioned Bethan. Um, Ruben, Dylan, Amber, we always knew was going to be, you know, as it should probably said, pouting perfection, but she really you know, turned the volume up and, and really coming up with Sylvia. Lots of people. My favourite part is definitely the big dollhouse. I love that part. It's, just good. it's really good part. I love the song and like everyone getting involved. Like, it's, yeah, I love yeah. that. It's great. The least favourite part of the rehearsal process is <laughs> coming back to the day job. Um, you know, doing teaching as well. Uh, it's a hard balance to uh, have school life and hairspray, because hairspray or, or any production is a job in itself. Really. Remembering your lines and your like all your moves and your songs all in one go. That's quite like with the nerves on top. It's quite challenging. <laughs> I think getting over the embarrassment of being on stage and some of the stuff we do on stage is is um, quite difficult, but if you overcome it, then it can be quite good. Uh, the most difficult part about performing is probably getting over the nerves of everyone and just playing a woman. The challenging part about doing Penny was her American accent. That mm -hmm. was so bad. And I could feel myself fading out of it as well sometimes. I was doing an like, Australian accent <laughs> <laughs> 300 times. I was like stuck. I had to change like, some of my words to be yeah. like, scream out instead of doing American <laughs> accent. It's fun to have uh, a pupil who doesn't think they can do it or it isn't quite as keen on doing what you want to do and then over the course of uh, the, the months that you work with them they blossom and they turn into something else and they turn into the character and they, they create something amazing. Mine is definitely challenging because the solo part is quite high so you have to take it down and it's just a bit of a... I tell you what I find most challenging is hitting my high notes at the end of my song. Yeah. That is definitely the most challenging part for me. Tell you what the most challenging part for me is dancing and singing at the same time is really, really difficult. <laughs> I had no idea. Really hard. Yeah, I think it would be quite difficult for me because the series is very good at dancing and singing and lots of his sing songs are quite complicated so it'd be quite difficult. I just thought it was like quite hard. Like you sort of had to give it everything. Mm -hmm. You had to like not hold back, and like you'd be asked to do some real like weird stuff. <laughs> and, like you just have to you just have to get to a point where you just go, you know what? I'll just do it. You yeah. have to like disassociate from yourself. Yeah. And, uh, and like I was constantly on stage. I had no breaks. So I was like dying backstage. Yeah. Like. <clears throat> I want to go home. <laughs> no, it's really fun. I do think my role will challenge me because I'm playing a woman and I'm not actually a woman. I think, no, I think stage fright. I get really bad stage fright and I get a bit scared of like going wrong on the stage and then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The only, most difficult part for me was like when I first had to learn my song and like perform in front of people I barely knew. That was the hardest part because I genuinely like. I didn't have any confidence in myself at all. Yeah. And when I was singing, I'm like, you, everyone goes through times when you sing a wrong note or whatever. Yeah. And it's so embarrassing in front of everyone. Yeah. You're like, oh my god. Or your voice breaks and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I pretty much went through like an entire thing, just like terrified I was gonna like have a voice break singing or something <laughs> like that. I was like, it's just gonna happen at some point. Because you have to be constantly acting as well, even if you're not doing anything, mm. like yeah. four pictures, you have to be like, oh, As a good one in Baltimore, I kept changing the words to my <laughs> version, like I changed the verses, and I was like, it just not make sense. So I was like, oh no, I was like, I like it, I get it right. I went to do rehearsals and I was like, I can't get it right. Um, yeah, I'd say Mojo Mouse is definitely challenging for me because she's very loud and out there. I suppose I am as well, but I mean, not on stage. And I've never actually sung a solo in front of people before and she actually has two, so it, was, it is a challenge for me. I think the group worked really well when it needed to and had fun when it needed to. And it's... Um usually very enjoyable, and I'm sure it will be again, to because be we haven't performed because we haven't again. But I, I'm saying it'll probably be even maybe the most enjoyable yet. We might enjoy it a yes. lot. And um, because of last year was a smaller cast, which was nice and controllable, but I'll say that this larger cast will be probably exceed our expectations even once once more. We might. Yeah. It's pretty fun and excited. It's like it's you really get up in, like a lot of people near the songs, like mm. like really you cause on the beat and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of humour in it as well. It's not boring at all then. I hope that the audience like ends up crying. All of them. Every single one. I think they will. I want them all to cry. With like good happy tears and then sad tears as well. Yeah. Why the sad tears? Well because it's over and they like me so much. Like. <laughs> I think we yes. all work together well, yeah. Like yeah. we like feed off each other, like, yeah. get better. And because not everyone, I don't think there's one sane person <laughs> in the cast that kind of helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's quite true. If you needed someone to mess around with, you'd pretty much just look to the person next to you. The Kates were just fantastic. They, I don't think they knew what they were letting themselves in for when I asked them if they were choreographed the show. I think they felt that I would lead the choreography and that they would do the movements and I would shape it all for them. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely worked better than I thought it would have done. So. I think we've all like merged as a group. We're all friends even yeah. though we didn't really know each other before. Well, yeah. a lot of us didn't know each other before. Yeah. And I think the casting was spot on and it was a it was a great production to be a part of. <laughs> it's, 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 just, it's just luckily, and again, it's just a great team that everybody knows that if they want something, they, they know, they ask and yeah. someone does it. Yeah. And if they can't do it, they ask someone else and someone else does it. And that's, that's the good thing. Again, it's, you never think, oh, well, I better not ask someone so mm. to do that. And we don't have such clearly defined roles, you know, of course, you know, yes, direction, music, and, but it, it does sort of branch out, it just sort of it moves around and, and jobs become different jobs and, and, and I think, I hope, we all just enjoy what we do. I think, they'll, I think they're going to love it. I really enjoyed practicing it and getting the character was great and I think they're going to love it. Yeah, I think it's funny. Mm -hmm. If you put it off right. <laughs> I think we will pull it off, but <laughs> I mean, it's stressful in rehearsals, but... Yeah, yeah, maybe that's the next step of as well now. Uh, well, with the, the choreographers, you know, to, you know to, see, to see them really develop as well in their confidence and how they directed the dancing, mm -hmm. that's something you know, for the future as well now, is to maybe, you know, get more and more people in the directing as well, isn't it? And mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's happened quite a bit in the rehearsals is that certain people have led, led small little scenes and, and come and come out and... I'm, I'm not so sure yeah. that people should die <laughs> <laughs>
it's a bad axe. It's a bad axe. It's a bad axe. It's a bad axe. It was a little mermaid. Look at, look at the, uh, the journey that Stefan might go on. But we're not sure because we haven't done it yet. He might be very good. He might do it. He might look at the floor a bit too much at times, but <laughs> <laughs> generally he would probably uh, be fantastic. Channeling his inner Neanderthal. <laughs> he just took a picture. No. That's a terrible question. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite part of the production is. Next question. <laughs> the doll. Wait, wait, let me I know. hope my wig doesn't fall off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a disaster. Uh, yeah, that would, that'd be terrible. That'd be awful if that happened. Yeah. <laughs> I still didn't know the words to it six two. I was like, I was making them up. <laughs> Sora Allen in a starring Cindy Watkins role. Was she still, was she, or was she Gilbert or Dwayne? I don't know. And of course. You know, I, I, I expect <coughs> the gym teacher will uh, be very good yes. as well. Watch so, out. Yeah. Great entrances, probably. <laughs> but then suddenly it, all, it might all come together yeah. on Thursday. Well, let's hope. Mm -hmm. And people might say that they've seen professional shows in Cardiff and London which, you know, weren't as good. Yeah. But that's all for the future. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? We can't predict the future. We're not like you know, yeah. Jamie Fox. <laughs> not Jamie Fox. <laughs> Michael J. Fox. I think there's a J there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> they have no idea what we're talking about. Back well, yeah, I think the hardest part of the production for me was uh, <laughs> one of my just singing and dancing.